Why was Jesus angry with those selling things in the temple? What did Jesus mean when he said he will build the temple in 3 days? What did Jesus mean when he said house of my father? All these questions and more answered during today's episode of Daily Reflections. The temple was the center of Jewish life. Jesus is not against the temple. but it's against what the temple has become a marketplace rather than a place of worship for jesus the temple was the place to worship the father the father who loves everybody equally and whose love could not be bought the gospel speaks about jesus and the temple when jesus arrives in jerusalem he immediately is seen in the temple where there are a number of people selling cattle sheep and doves and the money changers sitting there as well the encounter in the temple is not with the people who seek god but dealers of the sacred the amount paid to be able to open a stand in order to be able to sell was given to the high priest jesus chooses this occasion this place to give a sign he takes a whip an instrument which was a symbol of the messiah who punishes vice and evil practices and he drives out these people from the temple together with the cattle and the sheep it is worthy to note his act against those selling the doves the dove was an animal used in the sacrifices of expiation and of purification the sellers those who sold the doves sold reconciliation with god for money jesus saw that they had gone too far and that the business aspect was overriding the true purpose of the temple which was prayer and worship and then jesus speaks about the house of my father the expression wants to indicate that jesus in his actions behaves as a son he represents the father in the world they have transformed the worship of god into a market a place for trading the temple is no longer the place of encounter with god but the market where the presence of money is in force worship has become the pretext to gain more jesus is angry as he sees the lack of respect the people have for his father's house the place of prayer and the place of presence the people are blind to who jesus is and is deaf to his message jesus denounces that the temple has been deprived of its historical function to be the sign of the dwelling of god in the midst of his people the first reaction to jesus action comes from the disciples who associate this with psalm 69 where it says i am eaten up with zeal for your house jesus speaks about rebuilding the temple in 3 days the second reaction comes from the high priests who respond in the name of those selling in the temple by asking for a sign and jesus gives them that of his death destroy this temple and in 3 days i will raise it up jesus is the temple that is an assurance of the presence of god in the world the presence of his love and death on the cross will make of him the only and the definitive temple of god the temple constructed by human hands has fallen into decay jesus will be the one to replace it because he is now the presence of god in the world as the father is present in him here in dialogue between jesus and the jews there is a breakdown in communication the jews understand temple to apply only to the building in which they are standing jesus however is applying the term to his own body and is prophesizing his resurrection this was to be the sign about which they had been asking here are some points for a personal reflection What might desecrate our places of worship today? There may be junk and clutter in the temple of my heart too. How can I clear it to provide a sacred space for God today? How often do we misunderstand one another and so turn away shaking our heads at what we consider foolishness? These points can be of great help to reflect on today's gospel. And if you like our reflection Do share the good news of our Lord. Have a good day and may God bless you all. Amen.